In part A of this example, I need to sketch 630 degrees in standard position. And then in part B, I need to find the six trigonometric functions for this angle. So reviewing standard position means the vertex is at the origin. The initial side lies along the positive x-axis. My angle is positive, so I'm going to rotate in a counterclockwise direction. But my angle of 630 degrees is bigger than one rotation of 360 degrees. So I'm going to use coterminal angles to figure out where the terminal side lies. Coterminal angles differ by one revolution, or in this case, since I'm in degrees, 360 degrees. So you take your given angle of 630 degrees, you subtract one revolution of 360 degrees, and you get 270 degrees. So now I know that my angle is one complete revolution, which is to here, and then I have to keep going another 270 degrees. So my terminal side is going to lie along the negative y-axis. So this angle does not lie in a quadrant. It's called a quadrantal angle. So this is 630 degrees drawn in standard position. Now in part B, I need to find the six trig functions for this angle. All I need to do that is to find one point somewhere along the terminal side. There are an infinite number of points on the negative y-axis. All of them will have an x-coordinate of zero. It doesn't matter what y value I pick as long as it's negative. I'm going to pick the easiest one of y equals negative 1. So for this point, I know x is 0, y is negative 1, and then to find r, I know r squared equals x squared plus y squared. So r squared equals x squared is 0 squared plus y is negative 1 all squared. So I know r squared is going to be 0 squared is 0 and negative 1 squared is positive 1. So I know that r squared is 1, so r is the positive square root of 1 because remember r is always positive. So r equals positive 1. So now I know x, y, and r for this point, I can find all six trig functions. So the sine of 630 degrees, in terms of x, y, and r, it's y over r. y was negative 1, r was positive 1. Negative 1 over 1 is negative 1. So that's the sine of 630 degrees. Quickly looking at its reciprocal, the cosecant of 630 degrees, that's going to be the reciprocal of this, which is r over y, which is 1 divided by negative 1, which is negative 1. So there are the first two trig functions. Now the cosine of 630 degrees is x over r. x is 0. It's 0 divided by r is 1, which is 0. The reciprocal of the cosine function is the secant function. So the secant of 630 degrees is going to be the reciprocal of that. So it's going to be r over x r is 1 and x is 0. 1 divided by 0 is undefined. So the secant of 630 degrees is undefined. And now let's find the last two trig functions, the tangent of 630 degrees. 
Well, that's y divided by x. y is negative 1. x is 0. So the tangent of 630 degrees can't divide by 0. So this is undefined. And finally, the cotangent of 630 degrees. That's the reciprocal of this fraction. So it's x over y. X is 0, Y is negative 1, 0 divided by negative 1 is 0. So the cotangent of 630 degrees is 0. So I've now found all six trigonometric functions for this angle.